Our last speaker of this session Dr. Lolit Dr. Lalit Dwala Medake, he would uh, speak uh, on transforming of retired military personnel, the veterans into economic actors, the case of Sri Lankan Army, this review literature. Let me introduce the researcher, Dr. Lalit Dwala Medake, an academician, researcher, and development practitioner with 25 years' experience in the field of local economic development. He has particular expertise and interest in policy and practice of industrial and enterprise development, enterprise entrepreneurship education, social enterprises, technology and innovation, and equality and diversity. His academic profile includes a master's degree in industrial development from the School of Development Studies at the University of Norwich and PhD in Economic Geography from University of Newcastle. Sir, please continue. Your Thank you very much, uh, Chairman, uh, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, the paper I'm presenting today uh, is a piece of work undertaken by uh, General uh, Bonifacio Perra, and uh, I'm the co one of the co-authors of the, the paper. Uh, this is ongoing research, and uh, the preliminary literature review has been completed, and uh, uh, field evidence being collected uh, at the moment. So uh, this is very uh, interesting, uh, the research uh, in all uh, the contexts. And this, uh, the research focuses on the transformation of uh, military veterans, uh, especially uh, as uh, economic actors through uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, this research examines uh, the transition process from military uh, the life to uh, uh, the civilian life, uh, how that uh, the transition uh, that takes place, uh, and the support mechanism during pre and post uh, transition period, what kind of support uh, the service is available uh, while they are still in the military, and uh, uh, once they uh, have left the, left the service. Uh, thirdly, uh, socioeconomic factors affecting veterans' uh, the transition as entrepreneurs, uh, as a post-military carry option. There are many uh, the different carry options, you know, paid uh, employment or enjoy their retirement without doing anything than staying at home, or uh, how to become a successful entrepreneur. And finally, uh, the role for Sri Lankan Army uh, in providing uh, uh, a supportive ecosystem or the support environment. So these four uh, uh, areas are being researched. And uh, the literature review is based on uh, the experience of uh, uh, the other countries and uh, what is written, uh, what is uh, the emerging uh, issues, and uh, some literature evidence. Uh, the background to this research is the, uh, uh, the Sri Lankan army, uh, uh, since the war ended in 2009. So the army, uh, the old the defense forces have been going through a transition period. Uh, we all know that uh, the army soldiers retire from the active service after the completion of 22 years and even before uh, 5 years and 12 years, uh, 15 years for the female the soldiers. Uh, many of them who complete the, the 22 years service retire at the age of the 40, 45, uh, very productive age. Uh, they have another 20, 15, 20 years ahead of in their lives. Uh, they leave the army with lots of experience gained through uh, uh, during uh, their uh, 22 years of uh, the, the service, they, they train, uh, military combat and non-military skills. So they are really trained. They are really skillful. They are very experienced. So what happens when a, when a person retires from the army uh, with such amount of skills and how they can use their skills into a successful uh, uh, civilian life? And how can they contribute to the national development? Uh, if, they are, if they are gainfully employed or, or find uh, the, they start their small business or on, become entrepreneurs, they can contribute to the economy uh, in a 
in a very big way. If they are supported uh, and guided uh, to become economically active. According to uh, the Directorate of Pay and Record, Sri Lanka Army uh, annually 4% of the service personnel aged between 44, 40 and 45 years retire. And uh, since the end of the war, about 24,000 soldiers have retired from the service. It's a big, big number. In the next seven years, it is expected that 44,000 soldiers uh, are expected to retire. So they are entering into uh, the economy, uh, they are entering into the labor force, uh, and this is, the, is a huge number when you look at uh, the recruitment that had taken place about uh, during the war. So this graph shows uh, the past in yellow, and you can see the graph. Uh, in 2010, there are 3,295, and they are down to 1,673, 4,255 in 2012, and then uh, nearly 4,900, 4,000 again in 2014 and 15, the highest number in the last uh, seven years, 5,000 soldiers have retired. So uh, in the next uh, seven years, you can see the graph. So in 2017 and 18, there will be almost 20,000 uh, the soldiers will retire. So they are entering into the labor market, uh, and uh, we really don't know what their destinations are going to be. Uh, in this uh, research, the literature we explored, both policy and academic literature around the world, uh, there's a large body of literature written on uh, military, the transition, uh, the transition of military personnel uh, from military life to the civilian life.